Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17. Today we're going to have a look at a pathing. Now I know there's loads of videos already out there which test pathing and do their own things, but it's one thing to watch another video and another thing to test it for yourself, yeah? And to test it yourself helps you also to understand it. Now there's a couple of comments which happened over the videos with the Horde Knights where they were saying, oh, the pathing was because of that, or the pathing was because of that. So we're gonna try a couple of things out. Also we're gonna test if they actually did fix the uh, the polls, which again, there might be videos out there already doing that, but this is for me, this is for me to share with you. And if you have any information for oh, sorry any ideas yourself that you want me to try out on what the zombies would do in scenario x let me know yeah we are in creative yeah well we're not in creative i can enable creative mode and um, we have full control over the zombies we can spawn them in, make them aggro on us and test every scenario out that we want so hopefully we're gonna have a lot of fun let me know in the comments what you want me to try out and i hope you enjoy it if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started Beautiful. So now the zombies have no obstruction here. The, everything is the same on all sides. Now, Susan, would you like to be so kind and um, get aggro on me? Okay, thank you very much. I'm gonna pause you there. And we're gonna leave this door open. Now let's see if Susan decides she wants to go somewhere else. So she's coming actually to me. So there's an open door here. But she is walking towards the door. Okay, she's coming to the door. She thinks that coming through the door is shorter than um, going around. That's fair enough. So if we're going to replace this with a solid block that she would have to go through, even though this here is wide open. Now, let's pause that. Let's go through here and let's see what happens. Oh, what is she doing? Look at that. She is repathing. Is she coming to here because of the door? So basically door or no door, it seems that um, they see that as an open block. So she walks all the way around here just to get to the door. So basically having a door is like leaving it open. You might as well leave it open. Yeah. And that's good because when the, when the, I think it was two versions ago, you could just close this door, open this one and force them to go around. You see, this one is open. So, okay. So let's pause this. Let's block this off and see what happens. What does she do? She is recalculating. She is going to this door now. It seems that teasing them with doors is not a thing anymore. So what will she do if we block all of those? Then she goes to the shortest path. Which is basically any block randomly. Now what happens if I open this? She turns around. She turns around. That is amazing. So if we spawn in a pharaoh or something that's fast. Okay, he's running around. Okay, let me open this now. He's coming back. Close it. And he's turning around. So that is actually pretty impressive. So he's coming all the way around. There he is. Now what happens if I close this? He's gonna go to the shortest path, which is there. But I'm gonna open this now. And he's turning around. So this is pretty impressive. They will always go, no matter where they are, for the open area. So what happens if you have an open area here, but you have traps there? There you go. Traps here. And she's already coming towards this side because this side is open, but this side doesn't have any traps. Now, what happens when we do this? Do they consider traps? Oh, look at that. They're not changing. That is amazing. So traps are now considered full obstructed blocks. 
Well, what happens if we leave the open area really open? And I mean, like, seriously open. Let's get his attention. Ah, here you go. He's already going this way. He's completely ignoring this whole open area here. Now, let's check again if we spawn him here and we have a door here. Will he go for the door? Because I don't know if it is necessarily the door he's going for. So... Let's stand as far over to this side as possible to see if it is the, the side with the door that attracts him. And we're going to stand right here. No, he is going for the side with the door. However, is he going for the door or is he going for something else? No, he's going for the door. So let's upgrade the door to iron because you would definitely have access to iron in early game. So there you go. This is how you would update the door. So let's spawn in another zombie. But stay here in this corner. As close as possible to this side here. We're even gonna go here on the bars. So he's still going to the door. That's interesting. But is he going for the door? He's still going for the door. And let's see, I know early game you wouldn't have anything else, but let's upgrade this to Forged Iron. Okay, come on, Joe. What you got? Okay, we're even gonna stay all the way here. He is going now to this side. So if I'm gonna go over here and I open the door... He's coming around, of course. But once he's there, I wanna see what happens. So I'm here now, I closed the door, I'm staying in the middle, what is he doing? He's coming for the side with the door, but he's not going for the door, so he basically just goes, once you have the door upgraded enough, it just is not worth it anymore for him to take, to consider the door as an open spot. Because while they see the door as the weakest point in general, or an open spot, whichever way you want to see it, once you reached a certain level of upgrade, which in this case is forged iron, they're gonna go screw that. And then it's the same as having a solid block there. So, which means to pick a random side, whatever they consider is closest to you, and start smashing the wall. Alright guys, in summary, doors at the same level as the walls, or slightly above, like scrap, seem to have absolutely no impact. Like, in the sense of pathing, forcing the path. They will literally be seen as the weakest spot. They will pick the site with the door. If you have multiple doors, they pick a random one, whatever the closest one is. But they will pick the site with the door, assuming you have only one, and go right through it. End of story. Now, that brings us to traps. I'm going to spawn in Joe. I'm going to give him a shot in the ass, get his attention. And he's still not going through the traps. So, I don't know at what level they will go through the traps if one row is enough or not. But anyway, they will rather go to a random site to attack you. I say random because this door doesn't matter to Joe. Yeah, he doesn't care. What Joe, Joe cares about is this site here, which is the weakest site right now. So that's what Joe cares about. So, that kind of brings me to the thought that basically... The game is right now forcing you to build traps for the sake of traps. Meaning, what I mean by that, a, redu a redundant trap system, or a trap redundancy system, yeah? Means you build traps all around your base, of which 90% or 95% will become completely useless and redundant, yeah? Because if you have traps all the way around a square 5x5 five five block, they will pick a random spot. Yes, the traps will kill them, but once they've forged a path, through that site that they selected on the traps. Once they forge that path, they will all go there, meaning that all the other traps around your base simply exist only to force them into a direction. So they're redundancy traps. They, they, they have no point. Let's see what Joe does when we have one row of traps. No. He's like, nope, not doing it. So not even one row. Anyway, 
that helped me actually a lot, like, you know, to understand a little bit more about the path thing. I don't know if it helped you, but I hope it did. And let me know in the comments below what you think we should test out and what you think might work to trick the zombie AI into more control over us. Because the more we figure out, the more the guys will change. And even though I think that change is a bit OTT, that I can stand here with zombies there and they just ignore me. That, that's a bit OTT, I think, on the zombie AI, but we'll see anyway that's just that's just my opinion <laughs> you know anyway let me know what you think in the comments below i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope to see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys later until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming if we have forged iron upgraded doors on wood blocks they don't see the doors the weakest spot anymore as we just found out because they just pick a random spot in the wall. So I wonder if we now can mess around with them again. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, is he coming through? Is it? He... He's not considering the effort worth to go through 300 HP wooden blocks and instead goes for the open door. That is brilliant.